Vince Lovegrove, TNT music columnist, believes that thanks to his magazine's large readership and its professional staff, it has been instrumental in breaking new overseas talent in the UK. Record companies here recognise and understand that it's a very, very powerful um, um, for artists in general, not just rock and roll artists, but um, dance artists now, movie movie stars, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. And it does reach a very, very large audience. I mean, there's a quarter of a million people who live in London, uh, London who are Aust- Australian or Antipodean. And that's a, that's a very big population. That's a quarter of a million people. He says TNT continues its successful track record of introducing Antipodean and South African bands to the British music scene. Bands that are under bubbling at the moment, bands like Cruel Sea, Garage Land, um, uh, uh, probably to a lesser extent, um, Peter Andre. Vince Lovegrove joined TNT three years ago from his native Australia, where he was a well-established music manager, writer and critic. Among his many interviews, his biggest scoop was perhaps being the last journalist to interview Michael Hutchins shortly before the NXS lead singer took his own life in November 97. The interview, which also forms part of Vince's forthcoming biography on the singer, is perhaps unsurprisingly his favourite. Probably the best interview I did was uh, the last interview with Michael Hutchinson, not not just because of um, of the book situation, but simply because it was a very revealing interview. It was an interesting one, um, and it also uh, was an interview that had been long overdue that he hadn't given anyone for a long time.